obvious in the wild. That's why, yes, that's why they are easily caught and eaten. All right. And right now, ayun. Run! And right now, invisible, and that is what we call camouflage. Well, twilight here is a grass owl. Well, they call grass owl, that is because they prefer to stay on the grass or even on the ground whenever they hunt food. So, do you want to see that one more time? So, folks, how about a big hand for that great demonstration? Very good job, Twilight. Where's my friend? Oh, there you go. Nice. Well, this furry creature right here is a palm civet. He loves fruits such as bananas or even mangoes. So, let's play a little game. Well, I've got three bamboo cups right here. His job is to snip it out. He's going to tell us that he found the tree by flipping the bamboo cup over using his paw. Let's try it. One, two, three. Can I have some fruit, please? Okay, I've got tasty bananas. So, first, let's put it under the second cup. Let's see. Come on, Larry, show them your talent. Running, very good boy. Sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Wow, he found it. I'd like you to meet Luna. Thank you so much. Well, Luna here is a Victoria, or also known as a bear cat. Yes, Victoria or a bear cat. We'll Whoa. see that bushy tail. It helps him balance on that vine. Look at the it's tail. So well, that tail, we call that for an inside. It has another purpose. He can hang from it just like that. Or even eggs. And they have a lot to say. They chuckle when they are happy and have a high pitch wail when they are annoyed. Folks, I'd like you to meet Bamboo. His name is Bamboo, our giant fruit bat. The world's only flying mammal. Well, they say giant because they are one of the biggest bats in the world. When they are full grown, they'll have a wingspan of five feet long. Well, Bamboo here has five toes on each foot and four fingers on those delicate stretchy wings. Their tongues stick out so they can move along the branch, just like a bird. So what they need to do is to climb up into a higher place, just like that. And when they are high enough, they will eventually fall into flight. Wow! Look at that! One more round! And that is how a bat flies amazing! So folks, have a big hand for bamboo, our giant fruit bag. I'd like you to meet Noi. Yes, his name is Noi, our Rufus Hornbill or locally known as Tala. I know, how about a banana? Well, see that big thing? Yes, yeah, see that big thing sitting on top of his beak? Well, that is what we call a cast. We believe that it acts like a vibrating chamber to make their voice louder. Melon, I bet it's banana. That's his favorite, but let's see. Let's see, let's see. Choose one, buddy. I oh, see, I told you. Great. <laughs> and it's big enough, yes, it's big enough that no here can catch meal in big air. Just like this. Come on, Noi, catch. Woo, nice. So beautiful. What is your name? What? Okay, come on, right here. So show you the name of the class. One, two, three, go. Nice. How about you? Thank you so much. Okay, one, two, three, go. Great job. So folks, have a big hand for Noi Noi, our Rufus Hornbill. Wow, what a wonderful bird. Well, this next animal, my beautiful reticulated python. Wow, so this is Leia. Yeah, her name is Leia. Well, here in the Philippines, this is what we call, how do we call this? Sawa, yes, that's right, Sawa. So I'll share some important information. I want you to listen, okay? So guys, as you notice, snakes, they keep sticking their tongue out, right? Alabas-labas po di ba yung hila nila, di ba? Well, they keep sticking their tongue out because they are smelling the air. 
with it. Now let's 
start with the first fish. Okay. Oh, hi. 
better buy the bigger one. Reuse, reuse materials like bags, boxes, and another one whenever we can. And here's a great tip from Zoe and Ernie. My name is Wang and I'll be your host today as we explore the fascinating world of one of the most amazing creatures of the sea, the dolphins. Well, here at Ocean Adventure, we have three dolphin species. And as you can see, they come in all shapes and sizes. So let me introduce our dolphin friends to you one by one. First up, we have Bing. Followed by Nala. These dolphins are very friendly animals and they like to welcome you with a nice wave hello. Let's have our dolphins put those fins into action with some of their natural behaviors. 
behavior. First off, what do dolphins do when they want to see over long distances? They jump up in the air just like that. And that's what we call a high bound. And what do dolphins do when they want to scratch their itchy skin? They do a breach. Some would breach to catch fish and communicate with other dolphins. And what do dolphins do when they want to show off and have fun? They do an amazing acrobatic aerial. So come on a big round of applause for dolphin friends. And if they could leave you with one lasting message, 
make the business. Look, there's a little bit of message. Thank you, dolphins. It's juicy guys. 